Hey everyone, it's Lola from Lola's Life Lessons. It is February 11th, 2023. I live in Ontario, Canada. This is my weekly Walmart walkthrough. I'm back with another empty shelves, food shortages, brand shortages, empty shelves, skyrocketing food prices video. I want you guys to take note of the empty shelves, empty pockets. Stick around to the end to see my grocery haul. Thank you. 
everyone. So this is my grocery haul for the week. All right, guys, so I went to three different grocery stores today. That's what it has become. You have to go to multiple grocery stores to get what it is that you need. So I went to Freshco and got the Prego spaghetti sauce. Freshco is the only place that I can find this sauce. I love the sauce. My family loves the sauce. And Freshco is the only place that seems to have it. I went to Food Basics and got my carrot juice, cream, Greek yogurt, sorrel, Hellman's. And by the way, Hellman's is going out of business. If you like this brand, I would recommend that you stock up. Strawberries. And I find that for this particular brand of carrot juice, Food Basics is the cheapest. And then, of course, the rest of the stuff was from Walmart. No, I lied. Actually, the cherries was also from Food Basics as well. Cherries seems to be very sought after right now. Very, very sought after. So we were lucky enough to get two little tiny bags. In the way of prepping, let's go back to the spaghetti sauce. Six jars of that. Soup. Four cans. Of soup. I guess you could say the Hellman's is a prepping item because, like I said, it's going to be going out of business and mayonnaise does last a really long time. Also, some chicken breast here is pretty good for prepping. What I usually do is I will season it with my jerk sauce here and then I just freeze it and then I will cook, cook it up. All right, guys, so as I showed you, we are still having an issue with the cold and flu items. So just make sure that when you do see it on the shelves, make sure that you have things like Tylenol, Advil, cold and flu, over-the-counter medications and things like that. Make sure you're stocked up on your meats. And I'm hearing online that there is an issue with eggs right now. So this is the price of eggs at Walmart. But please let me know what the price of eggs are in your city, town, country. I would really like to know. Also, when it comes to the baby food, baby formula shortage, from what I can see of the baby food, it looks like it's getting better. As for the baby formula, it just seems to not be improving. All right, guys. So that's about it. Let me know what you guys are seeing in your country, cities, towns. And what are you doing to deal with this? Are you shopping at three and four different grocery stores to get what it is you need? Are you guys checking the flyers? Are you buying in bulk? Are you shopping at places like Costco? Let me know what you guys are doing. Share your ideas, share your tips, share your tricks. Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. Bye.